Again, in Waterbury tonight, where plans are underway to bring a medical marijuana dispensing and growing facility to the Brass City. But with a product of that nature comes concerns about security. News 8's Stephanie Simone is live in our New Haven newsroom with more on the proposed facility and what steps would be needed on this. Stephanie. And Keith, the deadline was on. This was the last day to apply to get a license to grow and dispense in the state. This is the list of applicants. It just came out minutes ago. 16 want to grow marijuana. 20 are looking to dispense. We spoke to one man today who wants to do both and has a security plan all laid out. To most, this looks like 86,000 square feet sitting empty in Waterbury. But Thomas McCree sees a business, a very green business. This will be the door where the patients will come in, and uh, this will be a secure door here. The medical marijuana rush is hitting the state, and he wants in. He currently sells medical equipment to, to patients with chronic uh, pain and is just one of the many who apply to grow and dispense. It's a very cash-intensive business, and where you have cash, Ultimately, people want it. Matt Cook plans to head up security for McCree. He's done it for similar facilities across the country. He says security will be so tight it will deter criminals. It's delivered, it's received, weighed on camera. Any discrepancies between the two weights, between the production facility and the dispensary, have to be dealt with right then. Plus, he says every movement will be documented with hundreds of cameras. You have alarm facilities, motion detectors. You have alarms on your roof. Uh, the physical security guards that are in this facility must walk the property every hour and check the doors. To give potential patients filling prescriptions peace of mind. We don't want it to be as sterile as a doctor's office. We want it to be very comfortable and very inviting. Now, the Department of Consumer Protection plans to award three licenses to grow and three to five places to dispense. They're planning to give them out over the next six months. Live in the newsroom, Stephanie Simone, News 8.